Well, it's very bare in this room. You might hear a little bit of a bigger echo than last time out because there's nothing here. Just like the gap in my heart from the other night. Yes, it's after the game now. Congratulations if you're an Italy fan or anything of such as England lost the Euros. But we move on today on to Paris again. So welcome back. Yes, I'll just say what I just said again. Again, welcome back to the Paris FC career mode episode number... Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Is this eight or seven? It might be seven as we sit 11th in the league below where we should be on 24 points after 19 games. Stuck in a rut, it says, at the side. As we'll go onto the calendar and show you the games we have today, we have Grenoble, who we are looking to seek revenge against because we lost our first game in nine, I think it was, last time out against them in the cup, which we are out of. Followed up by Rudas. I think that's the name of their team. And then Ajereke, who's had players winning awards left, right and centre, followed up then by Pau. And then, I can't remember, but it begins with an N, I think. So these are actually winnable games. I'm going to play Grenoble, Ajereke and probably this last game because I know the other two teams are around us in the league. So let's dive straight into this. But before we get any further... I've got to tell you we're in deadline time, or not even deadline time, but January. The transfer window is what we're trying to get at, as we've got loads of players already listed, but as always, please get them suggestions straight in. We've got a player right there who's a free agent who we could sign. We've got Gredon Kajay, who I'm looking at. We've got Puertas, who's probably too good for us at the moment. He's really doing well. We've got Trulliet. We've got Lodois Dice. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't have a clue. He's recently moved. We've got Sal, who's still recently moved. And Gurner, who's recently gone. We've got Malloy, who we looked at loaning. I think we could actually loan again right now because we've lost Bolly, the player we're on loan from Lens at us in camp for the first half of the season. So we could get Malloy until... Not Malloy. Yeah, it is Malloy until the end of the season. I think that wouldn't be a half bad deal. As we've got an offer right here from Bournemouth. 15 million for Leo Colleen. 15. I think we could get more out of him in the future. But that's a hard one to turn down. The only reason I'm going to turn them down, though, is because they're a championship club. And he deserves better. Please, before we go any further in this video, do tell me what you want me to do with Leo Colleen. Do you want me to sell him for a high amount of money? If we get a bit of cost for that much again from a decent club, or do we just straight up reject them and keep him at the club? Because we've had really good players like him in the past on career, so it might be a bit harder doing it without one. As we've got enough for Manduki straight after as well, who is a decent player. Laganas are a decent team, but I'm going to try and keep him here and not let him go to the um, relegation threatened team. As Krauko have made an offer for Demacone. He's 37, I don't want him. Of course, willing to keep him a little bit longer as we've got an offer right here as well. 1.9 million for Bamba. This is from Leon in Mexico. I don't think he wants to go over to Mexico, if I'm really honest. So we'll keep him here in our back five as we go into Grenoble, the first game where we're going to play our back five. Thank you all as well for the suggestions on tactics and formations and everything like that. I have took them into account and applied some as this is the team we're going to go with. And look at that. We've only got two reserve players. I forgot all about that. Now players are starting to leave us. There's one more change to be made. Demacone is going to come in for this one. So he's in goal with Balaud, Bamba, Colleen, uh, Manduki and Hanno at the back with Masiengo, Name and Saeed Arab, who is growing amazingly. Even if we do get Muller on loan, I don't think he's going to get in the team over Arab with Laura and Antiste just over Van Wolfenswinkel. And you might think that's weird. That's because... Laura has proved that he's got more than goals. Van Wolfenswinkel scored a couple in the last episode, but of course Antiste did get two against Grenoble a week prior to this game. Not in real life, but a week in-game, of course, scored two in the cup, so he stays in. And let's have a look at this Grenoble team. I think we're away last time. We're at home, definitely this time, with Malbio in goal. Mobris, Monfry, Nesta and Neri at the back with Pickle and Perez. With Semedo, Mitchell and Rave with Dejite up front. So yeah, it looks like a similar team. I know Dejite, that's one I can remember. But there is also some players I might not be able to remember as well. So I've got to be wary of that as now Name charging forward with the ball. He's going to give it straight to Below, who's going to go over the top. Can he win that head of Masiengo? He does. Back to Leo Colleen now across to Name now as Name is going to pass the bloody no one. As now Dejite, he turns inside. He gives it to... Michelle right here is now Colleen gets a tackle and it goes straight to 
Name is going to pass it back into Balaud, and now we've got to try and find a way through these. They look like they're very, very well built in this game, better than the one in the last one as Manduki took a step back there before he took his touch, but we've straight through the middle onto Saida Rab, now onto Antistic, and we get a run around Masiengo. Here we go. It's Masiengo to run at the defence. Got a bit of a gap as Han Noah, as he's got a cross into the box, I think at the back post as well, into Saida Rab, who... Almost got there. Good work from our central midfield. I am really a big fan of Masiengo. Is that cross not good enough? But they've given a penalty for something against their captain. And I need to see what happened right here. I have no idea. But Monfrey is guilty of something. Let's have a look at the replay once again. And is it handball? It looks like he elbowed his own player. But I did not see a handball in that. Maybe we've just got the look for once as now it's going to be Antiste against the keeper. He scored a penalty to start us off last time going down the middle. And this time he gambles to the side and he's saved. That just reminds me of Sancho and Saka. Of course, I never blame the boys after those penalty misses. It was just unlucky as can we score from the corner as well? No, we don't. So the chance is officially gone. We miss the penalty and the corner from it. Absolutely hate that as now Hanin. Oh, Hanno, I need to get his name right again. I've had a day off and I can't seem to fathom it as that it was meant for a rab. Didn't get there. Laura and Antiste charging them down as we have grown into this game slightly with that big run down the side, but still nothing from that. And Belaud now with the ball. He's the right wing back and he's coming forward down the line as he gives it around to Laura. Finally, a pass down the line. I mean, we don't have wingers, so... I don't blame players for not putting it down the line all the time, but this is a good move as it's on to Masienga with a chance to shoot and he's just missed. Oh my days, again he's becoming our best player in this game by far and just finds himself missing by inches. So very unlucky as now Name on the ball straight away again. He's going to back heel it into Belaud right here and Belaud put it through the middle onto Lara. As Lara around the corner, Name puts it onto Belaud again as we've got another big chance here and it's Masiengo, no it's Antiste. It's the two Afro players literally doing well in this game so far as now Belaud Needs to try and find a little bit of an option. Finds it to the edge, and that's just a bit wayward, and that could be a chance for them. However, Saida Rab gets back there. We are actually all over Grenoble. Scrap what I said earlier about it being a little bit even, as now we've got the ball onto Antiste. Lara making a decent move, but I'm going to go down this left-hand side, run around as Masiengo doing well with that overlap, has put that forward straight away into Antiste. What a ball, and good save. And it's Saida Rab with the ball right here, as I'm very wary of when we can score next. That's a bad switch over the top, though. As Rive puts it away and Mitchell into Colleen who's just going to clear it out. Can Balaud win a header? He can't. But does he draw a free kick? He does. Okay, can we get something before halftime? That would be a perfect time. As now it's through the middle. Onto Name. Flick on Colleen. Doesn't get there. But it's Antiste with it right now as he tries to force it. Still got the ball away though. And Saida Rab to shoot from range over the top. And half time right there as it's nil-nil. I think we should have took the chances that we've had. Of course, a penalty. Look at the domination. You saw that stat, didn't you? 31% possession for them. 69% for us. We need... To score. And I'm conflicted. I don't know if we've done better than we did before. Because of course that last game we lost. And this one we are drawing. But last game we scored two goals. And Antiste actually hit the ground running a bit more than he has today. As Masiengo with the ball here. He's got Antiste in front of him. Can we actually get a chance off here though? No, he runs to the wrong side. As now Bamba. Oh, he turns into danger. He's turned straight into De Gite there. As they've got a bit of a chance. Just going to try and chase them down. And we've got the ball off them in the end. It's Leo Colleen now in the middle to Name. As Name... To the side into Han, Soa, or Han Noah Masiengo. Every time this guy gets the ball, I'm very happy. As why aren't my attacking fullbacks running with us? Want to play like England did, of course, in the first half against Italy. As now Lara, too slow with it at his feet. We just don't seem very agile at the moment. As now Mikkel gives it back. We've got literally over 20 minutes still to go. But they've grown into this a little bit more in the second half. No shots, but... We're making a couple of mistakes as Colleen, I mean, seriously, we've just rejected a 15 million bid for you because I want you to go to a better club if you do leave us. As now Lara has the ball forward, Antiste making a move, but we've still got the ball right here and we're going to try and drill it out here as finally my wingbacks decide to attack. It's Hanno in the middle to Arab. We've got the man over from Laro, but it's not a good pass. It's getting a bit frustrating now as we need to try and break this Ducked right here and take a lead. That's a good ball through the middle, though, to Michel. As now it's on to Perez over the top. De Gitte with the chest right down for Rave. And we're chasing it round. Keep on chasing. Keep on chasing. As we're almost into added time here. So that was a good tackle from Arab. But still, the ball hasn't fallen to us. As there's one minute added on. Just make sure we don't concede here. Because they still do have the ball in this last minute. I don't want to draw. But, of course, 
I'll take it if I must. It's better than a defeat, isn't it? As it's a nil-nil to start off the episode with. Welcome back to career mode, I guess. I mean, that was just... It wasn't the most entertaining game, but we did keep a lot of the ball. And they did grow into it a lot in the second half. So we'll take that and smile on our face. Really hard to do that after yesterday, as we need to sign Demacone back on a contract, apparently. But I don't want to do that. I want to go youthful, as we've got 10th place in the bag right now. But power, of course, we do play today. If we do carry on the way we're doing as we'll go into the next one. And I think before I actually go into the next one, I've got to pull the trigger on a signing, don't I? And I'm going to go for the loan deal. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for a loan for... Oh, Milloy, but they won't let me have it. So I'm looking at Dimitar Ilyev, but I'm going to leave that a bit longer because, of course, he's a free agent, so he's not going to leave to go anywhere else. And Cameron Puertas is the only other one that looks good, but I know he struggled to be signed by um, Wolfberger, so it's going to be hard negotiations. So it looks like we aren't going to make that signing, as let's keep on going then. Let's keep on going without Malloy, as can we get a bid in for any of our players? We do need to sign. Actually, no, I'll check the academy. And it's a good job I actually checked because our scout is not out on a mission. I'm guessing because when you start the save, it just puts them out for three months and nothing more that we haven't had him out. So I'll send him out for nine. That's going to actually take a bit out of his budget into, yes, 2.8 million left, which isn't much. Have we completed the financial objective? Okay, so we have. So there's the pressure off there. But have we got any players in the academy worth bringing up into the team? We've got a couple. We've got uh, Leo Callier, who's 60 rated as a goalkeeper. He could actually challenge for the first team next season, but I'll keep him out for now. But Antonio Goulet, I will actually promote 58 rated. Won't hurt to have him around. And Nolan Hammond, we don't play wingers, but I'm going to put him on a development plan to change from a winger. And if it works out, I'll promote him as the other three or three. Yeah, I think it was just three aren't really ready yet. And it's going to take 40 weeks for him to be a cam. So... Maybe at the start of next season, he can join the goalkeeper, Leo Callier, in the team as we're going to move on right here and try and get onto this Rodas game. I might actually just try and play three games today, though. So then we've played all these three and we have more time on deadline day tomorrow round. And more time for signings means, of course, a clear ahead from today's misery. And then, of course, we can make better signings. We've got a 2 million one in from Kiba Galeria, the player who signed, of course... Who was it? It was William Harper with Grimsby in the last save. Going for Diaby Fadiga. Might accept this on another day, but just for now, I'm going to reject it. I don't need the money. It's not desperate times, but it is for the squad as we only have two reserves. And guys, it's happening again. Of course, after all we've just done, we play 20th place Rodas. They have fallen down on Rodez as we're going to go with the same team apart from one. I think Leo Collins is going to operate and that is amazing from him. I'm going to put Antiste on the bench. It was... It was fast and up for it, but of course didn't get as a goal. So I'm going to put Van Wolfenswinkel, who has been getting them lately, into the team. And we are going to play this. We're going to play this one, we're going to play the next one, and then we're going to probably get half a deadline day done. And of course leave a couple of um, days left for you guys to try and give me some signs, or hours should I say. As we should be beating bottom of the league. Let's get this curse gone. It's a formation against formation. Very similar, apart from we have a cam. So let's just do the business. As let's have a look at the host team. They've got Mapasi in goal. I think we drew against these in a simulation last time. Obiang, Bardi, Celestini, Kugari and Kogadaran with Buffao, Tudriariu and Duleen, David and Dembele. I can see why I simulated it last time. Them names are deadly. As we've got to try and be deadly against them as well as it's Chungari. Pass it back into the middle. It's now Celestine around the corner. Just got to... Not back off them, but give them a bit of room to manoeuvre, then just pounce on them. As that's a good tackle. No, ref, come on. That was okay as Rufiao passes it straight forward. Onto Testieriu, who gives it back into Rufa as we're trying to get a tackle in. And we're just not getting there. It's a good turn, to be honest. As now it's Dembele on the ball. He's made two quick passes and Dembele still charging at us. Testieriu trying to just catch up with them as that's a terrible pass in the end. And it's Bamba to run away with it. So Bamba, keep on going. Now put it through the middle as that's a great pass up to Saeed Arab and we've got runners either side. Van Wolfenswinkel was supposed to be one of those but he doesn't make a move in the end as Lara gives it to Name. Points to where he wants it but just too close to the defenders as now Wolfenswinkel again turns out, gives it into Name. He's got a man around him in Belaud. We need a man running into the box in Lara. It goes to Arab who's just too short. And Doolin passes it to Dembele right here as that's another pass off as Hanin now gets a good block off as it's Belaud 
Across in the middle to Masiengo. Across again into Laura as we're trying to get forward slightly here. It's Van Wolfenswinkel and Saida Rob pointing to where he wants it. He's gone up in ratings. This guy lately He's playing really well and he's put it over the bar. Can you believe it? He's got it completely wrong and had a nightmare. He scuffed it over. That is honestly a terrible shot from him as now Bamba tries to put it straight upfield to Ricky Van Wolfenswinkel who is not going to challenge nor win that header as now Texierio. Don't let them grow back into this game after that light, uh, late miss, that last miss. As now Dembele tries to turn inside. He's miles off so it doesn't matter if he scores. He's offside. He's off. <laughs> How? 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 I thought it was miles offside. How the hell has he stayed on? I can't scream as loud because the echo is going to go mental. But is he's offside. No wing back keeps him on. The right back, of course, wasn't on the camera. I saw Hanno on that last replay. He was keeping him off as well. And the goal has stood. We have been conned. It just ain't good football at all, is it? As they had a pass straight through again right there. Colleen doesn't get a tackle in. I think he unballed it right there, but got away with it as now Masiengo. You're our bright spot, mate. You are more of a youth player to me than Leo Colleen is at the moment. As Ricky Van Wolfenswinkel making the move. Now he's on. If he's definitely on last goal, he's definitely on while Wolfenswinkel this time. As that's a cross into Laura as well, who did get on the end of the ball. As I slurred my words a little bit there. As he slows the shot right wide. And Rufio on the ball right in here. The... Um, Goal scorer, I think he was. I think he was. I'm not I'm not very sure on it. But now Dembele across to Doolin. It might have actually been Doolin. But they're coming at us again. That's all that matters for them. Not who it is. As I'm trying to figure out who's had it for them. But they almost had two at the end of the half. As they put a shot over. And the, the curse looks like it's going to continue right here. This is a lot worse than the Granble game. So let's pull a finger out. And try and actually play well to get back into this game. As that's a bit of an off one. But Colleen to easily pick up on that. Giving it across to Hanno. As he's going to run at them a little bit here. And give it to Masiengo. Across now to Saida Rab. Into Ricky Van Wolfenswinkel. As that's a decent little bit of passing. And Laura to try and charge forward. Can I get my wing back up please? He's on attacking. I don't understand. As Masiengo cuts that one out. But still... They have the ball as Tessieriu right here into David. Gets a touch on that. And that's, I think, uh, Name getting the touch on as We've got a tackle in again, but it's still around the corner. And a shot off again as Doolin puts it over the bar. Chance for their second and third big one. It's now Bilal to run forward a little bit here as well. He's going to give it in the middle to Lara. Now on to Ricky Van Wolfenswinkel. On to Name. Through the middle to Masiengo. Has made a great darting run. And here we go. This is a chance to level. It's Han So uh, Masiengo has uh, messed his name up. But I don't care. Because he don't mess it up with the ball. We have a goal away from home. And it's his first, I think, for the club. I may be wrong. Because I can't rem remember the last two episodes. But that is a great finish from Han Noah as it's just running through, running through and at the near post puts it in. We're going to make a change up front as well, try and surprise the pack as that is very nice. Masiengo, or I think his name's actually pronounced Masengo, but I like Masiengo. It's got a bit of a ring to it, hasn't it? As that's over the top, header won by Maduki, straight to a rab and this is when we try and get a bit more creative. And Tiste, I want you not bottling chances this time like the penalty in the last game as Laura to the side of him into Masiengo running at them tries to swipe in again you can just see the intent but he didn't actually get the ball that time round as on my days no way is he beating us to that what a challenge as well from I think that was Bamba and that is legendary their fans booing us all the way hoping for a penalty but I know for a fact that is never ever a spot kick as now Lara can give this through to Antiste who's on a bit of a run here and Antiste needs to get inside of the defender does so luckily and goes to swing but they connect up with Alex I think that was just as much as a penalty as the one we just almost had as their passing is good right here it's on to David who passes it on to Sane as now they're going to try and run out as a little bit that's a rough tackle as Rufio around the corner it's Duline We've got to get right side of him right here. We've right side so far as Duline keeps it at his feet. And that's a tackle in the end as now Bilal get rid of it upfield as now Lara. And Tiste is pointing to where he wants it. And that is not where he was pointing. It's like one minute our passing is phenomenal. And the next it is absolutely terrible. As the ball through to Masiengo's goal was insane. But that ball right there was terrible. Even that one, it's Laura. It's Laura who's made the last two potential big passes. But messed them both up as now. Uh, Sane running with it and excuse me as Dulane 
We can't stop here though because they're coming out as it's Sane and Manduki to read that one straight up to Antiste again as now Masiengo run forward. Lara making a bit of a move. Masiengo just to keep it and do a spin. He never loses the ball as now Lara to the side. Antiste, it's Masiengo making the run around and it's a dodgy one. Antiste going to be a very, very tight one as now Manduki reads it again but still not coming away with the ball. So that one straight through onto David and oh dear. Oh dear, we've just tackled his own man right there as it's Dulin. Dulin with a chance right here. He's going to try and cut inside. Got a bit of a nudge on him right there, but still not got the ball as Bamba now. Oh, Bamba does get the ball this time and he's going to charge forward us. Can we go anywhere? Into any gaps, Antiste making a run through the middle and that's straight on to Antiste in the 90th minute. And Antiste has won the game. We have done it at the death. The striker off the bench, the only sub we've made to win the game and oh my days I didn't think it was going to happen not going to celebrate too much again surround sound echo and of course we've been very lucky against the bottom place side but we hadn't beaten 20th place ever so far until hopefully today thank you Antis Day the 18 year old getting the goal as well as it's a pass forward or pass backwards another pass another pass ref blow your whistle there's only one minute added on you added a lot right there as now may got a yellow card for something as well, but I don't care. We got the three points, and that is all that matters. I'm Ricky Van Wolfenswinkel, very happy that I gave him a chance, even though I subbed him off when we scored the winner, which I would be worried about myself, as now um, Antiste's goal meant mathematically, for the moment being, even though they do have a game in hand, he put us above in ninth position. He's, oh, never mind. They've gone above us again, but he put us up against Toulouse, who was, of course, the team he played for before us. But... They've swapped back over as it's a Jeke up next and they are on form. As there is still no signings, just in a brief check, but these are fourth. We are tenth. We need to get a bit of a move on at this moment in time. Same team apart from, I'm going to make the swap that I made in the last game, but the opposite. Antiste comes in for Ricky Van Wolfenswinkel. So, let's do this. And let's have a look at this team we're against. It's a Jeke with Leon. In goal, they've got Bernard, Juba, Loris, and Arcus at the back with Toure just sat in front of him. It's a 4 1 4 1 with Dimshon, Ote, Baloke, and I missed the last one with Be Le Behan up front, and it was Jung Seik Hua on the wing. So, last game of today. Can we try and get another victory? We are unbeaten so far, and I tried desperately to make that rhyme as now we have the ball side of Rab to the side of him into Name as Name's not got the support of the fullback who should be forward I think it's just because the pace is down on both wing backs because they're getting a bit older as Lara does have it again right here tries to find the right wing back again but unsuccessful it's going to be another big ask against a good club right here like it was against Grenoble as now Otre, I think that's how it's pronounced. Otre, yeah. As Guillaume Jean gives it back into Bernard. And we're putting the pressure on them a lot there. But turned easily. Back in the middle. Lebihan up front. He's got the ball right here. What's he going to try and do? It's Lebihan, apparently. As we've got the tackling with Leo Colina. The death. And that was a bit of a close one, you know. Close than I actually thought. As now we've got a pass to Arab as well. We could actually count from it, you never know. We could score and I could forget about it instantly as now Lara running down the wing. He's got Antiste in the middle, Antiste with the head, and it's in the side net. And I thought it was wide, but no. Slaughtered in there just about as the keeper was stood like a statue. Very nice little goal there, and very, very lucky in my opinion, but we've got it. Great delivery and just a little dink. Just a little dink with the forehead and side netting, which is perfect for our start. Absolutely great. As now Lara to the side of him into Name again. As Name straight through the middle onto Lara again. And it's Belaud round the corner. The right back could we actually get another goal against the good Azurke team. It would be a great start, but it's just cut away from us right there. And now I know we can score more than one in a game like we did last time. I'm going to try and go for it more. It does look as well like the formation's kicking in a little bit for us as now... Biama Toure with the ball. We're going to try and get a tackle in here. No, he spun us. Spun us rather easily as well as a Toure. Can't get on him. Now it's to the side to Toure again. And oh, that's a bit of a dodgy one on Libby Holm. But we've got away with it somehow. But it's not a good ball out. So we technically haven't got away with it. So Toure on the ball again with it at his feet. We've tried to dive in a little bit. Libby Holm gives it backwards. Toure. It's all over the shop a little bit right here. Gives it back again. Got a bit of a touch on it, but still not enough to get rid of it. And now Name with the ball at his feet right here. He's going to try and run 
around the houses with it a little bit as what can he try and do here he's going to pull it back and give it in the middle to Laura Laura across it's Antiste again and it's just off the final pass I don't think it was Laura this time so I can't blame him but that was so close to threading him through as we've got not long till half time right now and it would be really good really really good for us if we scored another before the break that would give us a bit of confidence as that's a dodgy pass though into a rab though with the back heel now into Antiste again and we've got the run over the top it's a dodgy switch and it's straight through to Leon as that is the end of the first half 1-0 still we have the lead I'm being a bit negative but we have the lead just need to score more to keep it. As that is the objective of this second half. We've got a tackle straight in and it looks like a bit of a dodgy tackle. That one, the player stayed down injured as now Lara with the ball. Is he onside here, Hanno? He isn't. It was a decent run though. And Name running with it as it looks like, is that a different player who's down? It might actually be as Marco Verratti has left Paris Saint-Germain. I almost said at us then. That's usually not the way you get it mixed up as, yeah, he's left to go to Liverpool. Uh, rivals now without one of their dynamo midfielders as we've still got the ball right here and can we try and score right here again it's Antiste who gets his shot off into the bottom corner and we have two from Antiste a masterful performance and this guy's coming into his element a bit Ricky Van Wolfenswinkel may have to be very worried because the youth player is on form now not I'm gonna say again then but he hasn't been already as that is a really good one this time the keepers in full stretch not stood to the spot and still can't keep it out what a great finish is now Toure straight around the corner and oh dear oh dear oh it's just wide and you saw my panic I just clicked the X button in the box which I should not do slid in a little bit but we still do have our tuna lead change the right back all right, wing back to try and get a bit of pace injected down this wing. Let's look at that Campanini already making a run. And can we thread it through two and just, just away from an old day. They're going to attack where he once was. As we've still got half an hour of this game left. We have the two goals that I spoke about earlier on, but still need to keep it. As can we actually score more than two goals in a game? Antiste is actually through here. And it looks like they've gone attacking because, of course, they want to get the goals back as soon as possible. As it's headed in by Laura to make it three. And that might be game over against us, JK. What a performance and what a bullet header. It was a nice one right there. As look at this, just whips it around. Look at that, just powerful as oh, Bang, off the head. And the keeper maybe should do better, but again, I don't care. 3-0. And what a lead that is, as now Colleen passes it straight through the middle onto Lara. As Lara, oh, there was a bit of a gap right there as we've got it out to Arab right here, though. And the move could still be on. Arab with a touch, whips it in deep to Antiste on a hat trick. And he had a chance to head it, but a bit faster on the cro that, uh, cross that time. As, of course, Lara's header was a bit easier than that. A bit of a slow one for him to just whack it straight through. And I've gone ahead and changed my other full back right here as that ball not out of the box just yet. It's Fortune. Tries to turn us, tried to get another pass off. Good challenge right there though. And Masengo into Nami. Across to Arab. And Arab can't keep it. We've got literally 13 minutes of this game left. As now Toure gives it across to Belugu as that was a close one as well. Come on, let's keep the clean sheet for Demacone in his final season at this club. And let's do it for him as now Antiste gets the ball. Name, keep on running around me, mate. That's the wrong move as we had a bit of a chance on there. But player's movement was terrible as we tried to fizz that straight through as well again. But not on. As Dugimon trying to get the ball right there and Campanini just to get it away. Tried to get the pass off again and Bernard, it's dodgy a little bit here. We need to try and do a little bit better as it's through the middle again. And Hajam crossed over the top straight into Saida Rab. As Saida Rab's going to run down the line a little bit here and he's going to get a move on. Go on Saida Rab, we've got a chance here. We've got players forward, we've got Masiengo. We've got Antiste on a hat trick but he's not going to go for it. He's going to give it to Masiengo. Dodgy pass, Masiengo gets there. Lara bounces for him and he's just got there. The keeper almost had it, but two goals for each striker now. And a 4-0 win to wrap the episode off with. What a change on the cards. Never had this before, as so it's even telling us to put Ricky Van Wolf and Spinkel in centre mid. That's how many goals we're scoring. We will 100% do that, and we've changed Hadjam onto left wing back as well, as this has not been a contest at all. Dugimon has it in added time right here, and could we even get another? It's Colleen. Into Lara over the top, and it looked decent, but the referee's blown the whistle. Spares Ozurke a couple more goals on their goal difference as it's a 4-0 win. 
best performance of the season by far, even though we had less possession, but 100% shot accuracy. That is phenomenal. And after that, we've got two things back. We've got Manduki saying he likes to play centre back, which is perfect for me. And Laura, thank him for his game time, which I thank him for. Gatayan Laura, I never knew his first name. Played really, really well in that last game. As of course, we're on to deadline day right here. Still in ninth in the league, which is, is not good enough. But that's just because of the start of the season we had, which I think we can claw back with the time we have left. So let's see what we can do right now. We've got players left, right and centre who... Uh, clubless, we can sign. I think we're all right for strikers. Maybe centre back, or maybe an actual another central midfielder. It's only players that are really in the reserves now, which we need to try and replace. Can we get truly on loan? Oh, we can actually go from on loan. Right, that's perfect. I did not know we had this option, so we're going to try a loan to buy. Why not? We'll try and get him on a permanent if we can afterwards. It's going to be pretty hard, though. I think, as we we'll go for a one year as well. Uh, they want him out for a two-year. Okay, we will accept that. Of course, if they recall him, then we're done for. Has wants to pay 5k a week, though, which I'm not willing to do. Can we do 40, 60? 50, 50. It's still more than I'd want. So 40, please just say 40. And they're going to walk away because of it. Oh, no. I, will, I would have offered it back again, but I didn't think he'd walk away. Bit stupid, that one, as we've got Dimitar Ilayev. He's aging. Oh, I don't know who to go for next. Can we get this guy on loan? No, we can't. Can we get Puertas on loan? No, we can't. Can we get Gikei on loan? No, we can't. So, uh, I, th I think, I think, just because I'm stressed now, need sleep after that horrific result as well. And I've got other stuff to be getting on with. I will leave all 10 hours for you guys. So, you can give some suggestions and we've got longer to scout them. So, leave them down below. As Thank you guys for watching this episode. Like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well. So you do not miss an episode on this series of I Have Been MWS and I will see you all in the next one of the Paris Career Mode. Take care in a bit and peace.